Okay. Today we are talking about steps for effective presentations. What is presentation? Presentation is basically is a spoken statement requiring preparation and planning. It may take the shape of a formal speech or a lecture. It must be informative and appropriate for audience. The higher your status, the more you deliver oral presentation. Oral presentation is a spoken statement that we have to do for preparation and planning. What is the thing we have to say in front of our audience? So uh, it is about the presentation. Now, what are the main steps we, we need to take to deliver effective presentation? The first one is determine the purpose. Our presentation ka purpose kya hai, maqsad kya hai? Hum kya maqasid hai is presentation ke piche jo hasil karna cha rahe hai? To it is very important. The purpose is the foundation stone of an oral presentation. It's the focal point of the whole process. The purpose may be to inform, ya hume to inform someone, to persuade someone, to explain something to someone, or to inquire something, or we want to request someone something about, or we want to promote goodwill to amuse our audience or we want to build good relationship or to compart someone so all these are different purposes and first of all we need to find out what is the main purpose of presentation so it is a very first step we need to know the second is analyze the audience once we realize once we know agar hume ek bar pehle pata chal jaye ke purpose kya hai then we think about another basic element which is the audience we find out ke who are the audience. The audience are kids, they are adults, they are students from university, they are students from the college, or they are old people, they are young people. In sari chizo ko zehen me rakke unhi ke mutabik, unhi ke profession ke mutabik, hum apne jo ideas hai, hum arrange karte hai, apne contents jo hai na, organize karte hai. Select the main idea. First, select your main ideas. What are the main ideas you want to deliver? Gather the additional information which support your main idea. The first, you have you must having some extra information to support. You must having some solid research. So all these things which support your main idea, you have to work on these things. The fourth one is research the topic. Surely you don't you will not having all information for preparing a presentation. You have to collect your facts, ideas from internet, from a club, from the people, from the all around ideas, from the books, from reading different research papers. So all these things will give you an idea, will give you more information. Changing have to be made because new facts are constantly appearing in your mind. So, for, so fourth one is you have to research your topic. The fifth is organize the data and write the draft. We need to organize our data. You have gathered your information, then it is time to provide clothing to your information. And it's time to provide clothing to your information. A good speech has three parts an introduction, body, and conclusion. If you have your data, you have your presentation. So, first, you have your introduction. Then, you have your body. What is the main thing? And then, you have to conclude your presentation. So, three, three things are very important. Number six is create visual ideas. Or you can say create visual aids. In business people, uh, mostly people uh, check the images, pictures, graphs, and trend lines, percentages, and videos especially attract our audience. So what do we Images, pictures, videos, these are the things that we need to add presentation. This will be that we will gain the attention of our audience. Seven one, the number seven is rehearse the talk. Rehearsal is very important thing. Practice karna bohut zaruri hai. If you want to deliver a speech, you want to go deliver a presentation, agar aap ne kuch bhi karna hai, to sabse pehle kya karna chahiye? Hume practice karna chahiye. Apne audience ko imagine kare, waise hi, aur baar baar practice karte jaye. Aur jo bhi allotted time hai, jo bhi specific time hai, wo us pe stop kare. Ye rehearsal jo hai na, aapke jo presentation ko behtarin kar dega. That is very important to do practice again and again. Number eight, avoid the long speech. Lambe chore te career karne se bilkul gores kare. People do not like the long speeches, speech especially they don't like the long talks. 
सिर्फ रेलिवेंट मटेरियल इसमें होनी चाहिए और ज़्यादा इन्फॉर्मेशन ओवरलोड भी नहीं करना चाहिए क्योंकि लोग सिर्फ मेन चीज़ों मेन फंड्स को सुनते हैं नंबर नाइन मॉडरेट वॉइस एंड बी कॉन्फिडेंट द स्पीकर ज़्यादा बुलंद आवाज़ में भी नहीं बोलेगा नाट टू वेरी लाउड एंड नाट नाट टू स्पीक इन अ वेरी लो इंटेंसिटी ऑफ वॉइस शुड बी वेरी नॉर्मल सो द वॉइस शुड बी वेरी नॉर्मल इट में कॉन्फिडेंस इज ऑल्सो की टू सक्सेस सो दिस टू थिंग्स इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इलेवरिंग अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल प्रजेंटेशन लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट नंबर टेन इज टेक क्वेश्चन एंड कहते हैं कि questions are offensive to those who has who has something to hide to kya hai ki apne presentation ke aakhir mein zarur pucha kare that you, you can ask question without any hesitation ye hoga ki aapke audience aap se question karenge aap unke sath interaction karenge and they will clear their concepts ideas and angle of thinking which will definitely benefit you and your audience thank you so much have any question you can ask